And unfortunately, the British are also in line with their uh, partners and they continue uh, uh, constructing a military base at the estuary of the Esequibo River and they say that to fight the smuggling of uh, drugs and arms. Several dozens of the so-called refugees from Venezuela have already arrived there. In fact, those are the people who have arrived to complete training for the recon and uh, diversion groups in order to work in Venezuela and destabilize the situation and commit relevant actions from extremist to terrorist actions. At the same time, the media campaign also continues aimed at discrediting the legal and legitimate authorities of Venezuela. The Western mass media are purposefully spreading information containing accusations. I can give you one of the quotes which can be used as a slogan demonstrating the essence of this campaign. They say, this country is one of the largest drug threats to the U.S. and they are talking about the Venezuela. We have the official data on the drug threat in the region. For example, we can take a look at the special reports made by the UN Office for Drugs and Crime. And if they do not wish to look at the UN data, perhaps that's too boring for them. The U.S. authorities give precedence to the NGOs, and there are estimations by the relevant NGOs. And the most paradoxical thing is that there is an annual report by the U.S. Department of State. And if they took a look at the report itself, they would see the clear situation and they would understand what exactly are the countries who deliver drugs to the Western Hemisphere, and that is not Venezuela. Although, when we're talking about the mass media of the United States of America, they have created the slogan that Venezuela is to blame for all the drug hardships and threats of the region. That's absurd, but they also intentionally keep silence about the objective success of Caracas in countering the drug threat. From 2005 to 2018, the Venezuela Boeing forces have seized over 700 tons of drugs, and it is deeply regrettable that the U.S. prefers to ignore the 